So for today's video blog, we're going to talk about minting Zion coins. So yesterday, we had a milestone with the company. We actually minted our first Zion coins. So rather than actually just talk about it through video blog, I'm actually going to show you on my screen on my computer just here. So essentially what you see here right now is the Zion Inc. website. So right now this is Zion Inc. You come here, it's got information on what we're doing. It's got the three divisions of the company, Zion Coin, Zion Energy, and Zion Intel. But we're looking at Zion Coin. So essentially if you came to invest in Zion Coin today, you would hit invest. It would take you to this page on the website, who can invest right now with the security top uh, offering, we've got only regulation D506C. So if you come to invest in the company, this goes to our escrow services, Prime Trust. So this is encrypted, and this is where you fill in all the information about yourselves, choose how much you want to invest in the company. So it's it today, you want to invest $1,000. What would actually happen is, because they're one cent token, you'd also have to fill in all this other information there, but essentially you could buy 100,000 Zion coins. But so what happens after that? So once you've actually invested in the company, uh, your details are given to Prime Trust. They go through the escrow checks on you, and then once you pass that and you prove you're a credit investor, you can actually invest in the company. So what actually happens next, and why am I so excited about minting Zion coins? So essentially, the Zion coins themselves, they're going to actually be held in a MetaMask wallet. But this can actually be any Ethereum wallet. So the type of token you're actually investing in, I'll just open up this page, and this is the press article today, is Zion coins can be held in any Ethereum wallet that supports the custom ERC20 tokens. So what I'm showing you now is the future. So essentially, the way the token's operating is it's operating like a fractured share. But rather than you holding the share personally, it's actually held in an Ethereum wallet. Now, that one of the most popular Ethereum wallets and the ones we're going to suggest for all our investors to use is MetaMask. And it can actually be downloaded into your browser. So this is MetaMask here. You come here and you can actually go along, hit that button, and you can actually download it into whatever browser you use. So what actually happens next? Well, you go through a process of getting setting up the, the Ethereum wallet, and then what would happen at that point? Well, you're into this Ethereum wallet where the information is actually going to be held. Now, I've got it here in my... So, yeah, so this is actually Ethereum wallet open up. So I've got my own wallet. So what's actually happened is we have now, if you go through these transactions, this is my wallet. It's gone through, it's sent either approver. Now what's actually happening is this is us actually minting the coin. And what you'll see is there's ETH, Ethereum used all the way through the process. So the Ethereum is used. So I need to keep a little bit of Ethereum. We call it gas to actually do sort of transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. So what's actually happened is we've gone up there, sent Ethereum through all the process essentially in creating the token. And then what you're about to see right now, if I go into this section at the top, is Poly. So Polymath is the name of the company that we used as a token creation. Great guys, super good service. Everything they do is following compliance. But what you see right now is Zioncoin. Zioncoin is in a digital Ethereum wallet alongside Ethereum. So you can actually download other Ethereum-based cryptocurrencies or tokens and they will be in there. But what's the difference? Well, see, the difference is Zioncoin has actually gone through the traditional securities route. So this information of you getting held Zion coins is actually going to be held by a transfer agent. So there's people in space already doing this. So it's not like you're actually putting your coins or tokens in a wallet that you'll use. Yes, it's a digital wallet. There's going to be new for you to use, but this is a password different thing. So what you're seeing here is Zion coin. There are a million Zion coins confirmed and minted sitting in my wallet. Now, my, I'm the only wallet or the first wallet that's actually got them, but all the other shareholders in the company and people who come to invest, they'll be able to sign coins in their wallet as well. But it's actually restricted under Rule 144. So the entire crypto world won't even know what I'm talking about right now. 
So what we've got is, we've got an SEC security token offering being minted. So rather than holding a share certificate, your tokens are held here. Now what does Rule 144 mean? Well, Rule 144, it's under Regulation B, it's an SEC regulation. It means that these tokens are restricted for a minimum of 12 months before you can trade them. Also, there's not a secondary trading platform yet for these types of tokens, but this is so new and just coming out now. And the avenues in the US that will open this, the likes of T0 and Open Finance. And there's going to be other ATSs that are going to come up in the next 12 to 18 months where we're going to find liquidity for investors through this new way to invest. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You can actually own Zion coin in an Ethereum wallet alongside Ethereum, Poly, and other tradable tokens and Ethereum-based cryptocurrencies. And this is your opportunity to get the crowd for up. And as far as we are concerned as Zion, what you see there is the merging of two worlds. And Zion coin is an oil and gas energy share, and fractured share and token of this company. So we're one of the first companies going into this space. And we spoke about it in a previous video is, this is the start of an entry to a $5 trillion industry that's about to get tokenized onto the blockchain. Now we're not going to own that entire section. All I'm showing you is, we're involved in this transition of tokenization. Now it's not only going to happen in oil and gas, it's going to happen in every other energy sector. If you're in crowdfunding space, you're going to look at this. I'm telling you, this is the future. This is the merging of two worlds. And what I've shown you today with Zionfoy, one cent of Zionfoy, you could actually own it. You're being based wallet alongside these other tokens like the Fiat, for example. We will find the secondary trading platform. We will go out. How much we will go? Plus. $64 million question. Thanks very much. Have a nice day.